Premiere Pro is an excellent video editing tool used by professionals and beginners across different platforms. While Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve are popular alternatives, Premiere Pro stands out with its extensive features and easy integration with other Adobe tools like After Effects and Photoshop. If you're serious about creating high-quality content, Premiere Pro will give you the tools to do that. Keep on watching, and by the end of this video, you'll have a full understanding of the basics and how to get the most out of Premiere Pro. Let's begin with installing Premiere Pro. You'll need to head to Adobe's Creative Cloud website, where you can download Premiere Pro after creating an account. It's pretty simple. Install the Creative Cloud app and then use that to download Premiere Pro. Once you have it installed, open the app and we'll get started by creating a new project. When you first create a project, Premiere will ask you to name it and decide where to save it on your computer. This is also where you can choose settings like resolution and frame rate, but if you're not sure what to pick, the default settings will work just fine for now. Next, let's take a quick look at the Premiere Pro workspace. You'll notice several panels that might seem a little overwhelming at first, but you will get used to them soon enough. These include the timeline, the program monitor, and the tools panel. The timeline is where all the magic happens. This is where you'll arrange your clips and build your video. The program monitor allows you to see the output of your video as you work on it, and the tools panel is where you'll find essential editing tools like the razor tool, selection tool, and more. As you get used to the interface, these elements will become second nature. Now that your project is set up, let's bring in some media. In Premiere, you can import videos, images, and audio files in a couple of ways. You can drag and drop files directly into the project window or use the media browser panel, which allows you to browse files on your computer and add them to your project. Once you have your media imported, it's a good idea to organize it, especially if you're working on a large project. To create a bin in Premiere, right-click in the project panel and select New Bin. Once the bin is created, you can rename it to fit your media category, such as footage, music, or graphics, and start organizing your files. This process helps you stay organized as your project grows. With your media in Premiere, it's time to start editing. The timeline is where all of your video clips, audio files, and other media come together. Drag your video clips from the project panel onto the timeline. Trimming clips is one of the first things you'll learn to do. This allows you to cut out any unnecessary parts of your footage. You can use the razor tool to make cuts or simply adjust the in and out points of your clips. One quick tip, using keyboard shortcuts like C for the razor tool and V for selection can make your editing process much faster. Once your clips are trimmed, you can start arranging them on the timeline. To move clips around, just drag them to the desired location. If you need to remove a clip but don't want to leave a gap, you can use Ripple Delete, which automatically shifts all the other clips to fill in the empty space. This is super helpful when you're working on fine-tuning the timing of your edits. Now that you have your basic cuts, let's smooth things out with transitions. A simple cross-dissolve is one of the most common transitions and can be applied by dragging it from the effects panel onto the timeline and placing it between two clips. You can also adjust the duration of the transition by clicking and dragging its edges. If you're looking for something more dramatic, try transitions like dip to black or wipe. These are great for adding a bit more style to your video, depending on the mood you're trying to create. Adding titles and text is easy with Premiere Pro's Essential Graphics panel. Select the text tool and click on the video in your program monitor to start typing directly onto your footage. Once you have your text, you can customize the font, size, color, and more. If you want to animate your text like having it fade in or move across the screen, you can do that with keyframes. This allows you to change a property over time, which gives you the ability to add motion to your text. If you want a more polished look, 
Premiere Pro comes with built-in templates. These are pre-designed title sequences that you can modify to suit your needs, which can save you a lot of time while still giving your video a professional feel. Audio is just as important as video, and Premiere Pro has all the tools you need to manage your sound. First, import your audio files the same way you added your video clips. Once your audio is in the timeline, you can adjust the volume levels by using the audio meter, which shows you how loud your audio is. If your music is too loud compared to your dialogue, you can lower it by either dragging the volume line down on the timeline or using keyframes to fade it in and out. Premiere Pro also has a feature called audio ducking, which automatically lowers the volume of background music when someone is speaking. This helps ensure that your dialogue is clear without having to manually adjust the volume every time someone talks. You can also add audio transitions like fade-ins and fade-outs to make your sound transitions smoother. Next, let's talk about color correction and color grading. If your footage doesn't look quite right, or if the lighting changes throughout your video, you can use the Lumetri color panel to fix it. Color correction is all about making sure your video looks natural. This might mean adjusting the exposure, contrast, or white balance to get the best look. You can tweak these settings in the Lumetri color panel. If you want to take it a step further and give your video a specific mood, you can use LUTs or lookup tables. LUTs are essentially color presets that can give your footage a cinematic look with just a few clicks. Premiere Pro comes with some built-in LUTs, or you can download additional ones online if you're looking for a specific tone. Now let's explore effects. Premiere Pro has a wide range of effects available in the effects panel, from basic options like blur and sharpen to more advanced effects like chroma key and green screen. Applying an effect is as simple as dragging it from the effects panel onto your clip. Once applied, you can customize the effect in the effect controls panel. For example, if you've added a blur, you can adjust how strong the blur is or where it's applied in your frame. Effects can help enhance your video by adding that extra bit of flair. Whether you're adding a vignette to make your footage feel more cinematic or tweaking the brightness and contrast for that perfect shot, Premiere gives you the tools to get creative. Once you've finished editing, it's time to export your video. In Premiere Pro, exporting is simple. Just go to File and select Export. This will bring up the export window where you can choose your video format and settings. For platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, or social media, you can use the preset options to get the best settings for that platform. If you're short on time or don't need to tweak the settings, Premiere Pro also has a quick export button that allows you to export your video quickly using default settings. This is great for fast outputs, especially if you're just exporting a draft or quick version of your project. If you've mastered the basics and want to explore more advanced features, Premiere Pro offers a few extras. One of the most useful tools is its integration with After Effects. This is ideal for creating advanced motion graphics and animations. You can start a project in Premiere Pro and easily send it to After Effects for more detailed work. Another advanced feature is multicam editing, which is especially useful for projects like interviews or event videos where you have multiple camera angles. With multicam editing, you can sync all your camera angles and switch between them seamlessly during the edit. This allows you to see all your angles at once and cut between them quickly. As you continue to use Premiere Pro, you'll start picking up little tips and tricks that will save you time. For instance, learning keyboard shortcuts can drastically speed up your editing process. You can customize your workspace by arranging the panels in a way that best suits your workflow. Another handy tip is rendering your video occasionally as you edit, which will help it play back more smoothly without any lag. Another great trick is to use proxy files for large, high-resolution footage. Proxies are lower-resolution versions of your clips that make editing smoother, especially on slower computers. Once you're done editing, Premiere will automatically switch back to the full-resolution footage for export. And that wraps up our guide on how to master Premiere Pro.
As you gain more experience, you'll figure out even more ways to enhance your videos and make them stand out. If you're ready to get a little more into advanced techniques, stay tuned for future videos where we'll explore topics like motion graphics and detailed color correction.